Hey guys, let's finish up this bench and make a cut list. So one thing that we didn't do is we did not round uh, the bottoms here, which I think gives it a nicer look and that's an easy fix. We just select both of these edges here, shift, bevel, and increase the divisions here, set the fraction all the way to the max, and let's give it, uh, let's do like 15, that's good. So then we just need to do the same on this one. So that gives it a nicer, nice round look. And on this board, we just need to move over. Its location uh, isn't super important uh, because we just need to place it, uh, you know, right where this this part starts. And once we cut this in uh, on our on the actual boards, it'll be easier to figure out where this notch has to be cut out and same as this one so we don't really have to make a cutout here uh, for the cut list it's going to be easier to figure that out once we actually build um, these parts here all right so now we just need to replace these guys Okay, so we don't need that other piece of uh, that other board. Now we're gonna make some uh, uh, measurements, and we can do that by going to create measure tools, and we're gonna use the distance tool. So by default, when you create the, uh, when you use the distance tool, it's kind of annoying because it is very hard to see uh, when you deselect it. So we can change the settings here. If we go to settings, color settings. And then we go into dimensions right here. We can change the color, so I change it to black. That way, when I deselect it, it's black and it's easier to see uh, when I print it. And now I can just add these little uh, dimensions here. You, you can add as many as you want or as little as you want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, now what's cool about this is that if I go in and like add some and you can see they're all not lined up, I can take this uh, locator here, snap it here, Take this one, snap it there, and so I know uh, right now, see how it says 19.9, there's like a precision issue with uh, Maya sometimes, so if you just control A uh, in the attributes here, go to extra attributes and set this to like 3 uh, for the precision, it's going to set it properly, and we can take these and move them over here, I'm just using B to snap. Now, the background here you can see is gray, which is kind of annoying, and one option is to uh, change your background color, but if you just use Alt-B, you only have a couple choice options. So I just make a, a plane like this, uh, a plane with no divisions, and I place it in the back, make it large, and then I assign a new material, a surface shader, and I just make it, uh, sorry, I make it white like that. Now it's white. The issue here is that if you have uh, this on, uh, it's gonna change the color here. So you can either uh, turn turn it off or set it to untone map. Another issue here is that if I try to um, make these stencils, uh, it's gonna be hard for me to figure out like the proper heights and widths, right? So another thing that I can do is make a plane like this and so right now I have uh, if we show the grid here uh, and I snap this to the grid I can make this let's say let's say 40 units like that and then make my subdivisions so they match the grid like that and what this gives me is it makes this plane exactly I can hide the grid uh, one inch, each grid unit is one inch, right? Which is useful uh, when I assign the new material. I'm going to make it a Lambert. I'm going to make it completely transparent. Now it's invisible uh, if I don't have wireframe on, but if I have wireframe on, I can just, as long as it's in front, I can put it over anything, and that's going to give me a grid that I can use for cutting or measuring in Photoshop. So let's say if I snap this here, place this 
uh, right there, just snap it down there. Now I know that if I bring this into Photoshop, these lines are gonna be exactly one inch. So I can then, I can even move this over a little bit. So when I bring this into Photoshop, I know exactly how to scale this to print it out properly. And even do this. Now, the next thing to do is to take some screenshots. If I go into, and then UI elements, and open this little UI element thing, and you can do hide all UI elements, this will give you a large, larger screen uh, to screenshot with. And we can take, uh, we can zoom in, either try to do the whole thing like this, or you can zoom in even more if you want more precision. All right, so let's, uh, Take some screenshots. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna do two, uh, two pictures because I want to show you how that's gonna work. Uh, I use the snip and sketch tool, and basically what you do is you just uh, se select it, and then you can draw a what you want to uh, capture. That gives you a, a capture window, snip and sketch, sketch like this, and then you just save it. Then we just move this over, get some overlap, and then do it again. All right, so we're ready to print them out. So let's prepare them in Photoshop. All right, so I have all of these open. So I'm gonna start with the first one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a new uh, image here. I'm gonna make it in inches and the width is going to be 8.5 and height 11 and then we'll print it out at 300 dpi actually we don't need that high 150 is fine okay go to view show turn on grid you'll see a grid in here and you can see it's 11 by eight and a half so now we can take one of the first images, which is this guy. So control A, copy here, paste it. And we can line this up to the grid, this one. All right, control T. This will give you the transform. Now if I hold Alt and click right here on this point here, one of the grids now that they're lined up you can hold alt and scale and i just scale until the grid is lined up so un until the grid from maya is lined up with the pixel grid and if i go in here make sure that this one's uh, the outermost point is lined up and give us the best result. There we go. So now this is exactly lined up to the inches. We can duplicate this layer and then delete this much. That way we just take this and move it over. The grid doesn't matter anymore. It's lined up exactly. All right, so now I'm gonna merge this down and hide it bring back the grid this one we can close and get the next stencil So we just need to print four pages. So that's one, two, three, and four. And the best way to print is to save them as PDFs. That'll give you the easiest way to print.
All right, so I'm gonna print these out and uh, then I'll see you in the next video. We'll attach these stencils to some wood and start cutting. If you like this video, please hit the like button, uh, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, thanks.